Good Wednesday evening, church. I want to tell you a story. My mother grew up in Pottsville, Pennsylvania, in the heart of coal country in northeastern Pennsylvania. You might know Pottsville as the home of Yingling's Beer, but there was a town very near Pottsville that was named after a guy named Jim Thorpe. Jim Thorpe, Pennsylvania, was originally named Monk Chunk, following the Native American name for the valley in which it was. The name was changed in the 1920s to Jim Thorpe, Pennsylvania. Well, let me tell you a little bit about this guy named Jim Thorpe. This guy who stands behind me tonight, if you look closely, you can see that he's wearing different socks and different shoes. Now, Jim was not making a fashion statement. This picture was taken at the 1912 Olympic Games. And Jim, a Native American from Oklahoma, represented the United States in the track and field events. On the morning he was scheduled to run, his shoes were stolen. Luckily, Jim found two shoes in a garbage can. These two shoes, these very mismatched and beat up and certainly not made for running in the Olympic Games shoes. You might notice that on one foot he has two socks. That was because one shoe was way too large for his foot. Now, as I tell you this story, I bet you're thinking you know how this ended up. Well, you'd probably be wrong. Because Jim Thorpe went on to win not one, but two gold medals that day. And he became an American hero with the town of Monk Chunk, Pennsylvania, changing its name to Jim Thorpe. I tell you this story because old Jim has all but disappeared into the history books. The town changed its name back a few years ago. But I think the message in his story needs to live on and serves as a story not only of perseverance under pressure, but a message of hope. This story is a perfect reminder that you do not need to give in to whatever excuse might hold you back. So what if life hasn't been fair? What are you going to do about it today? In other words, whatever you woke up with today, stolen shoes, bad socks, bad health, failing relationships, failed whatever, don't let it stop you. Don't let it stop you from running the race of life. St. Paul wrote from a prison cell to Timothy. He said, I've fought the good fight, I finished the race, and I've kept the faith. Now there is in store for me the crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, will award to me on that day. And not only to me, but also to all who have longed for his appearing. You see, you can experience more life. Yes, life. If you get over the excuses, get over the blaming, get over the finger wagging, and get on with the living. Someone much, my, much wiser than me once said, you can have reasons or you can have results. I'm going to say that again. You can have reasons or you can have results. But... You cannot have both. There's nothing more to say except amen and amen. See y'all Sunday morning. Take care, y'all.